I'll give a personal note at the end before giving a, like a basic bio, a basic biography of Dr. Hovhannisyan. Like Richard Gable, Hovhannisyan was born and raised in Tulare, near Fresno, California. His father, a genocide survivor from the village of Bazmashen, near Kharpert, and his mother, a child immigrant from, from urban Mezre, just down the hill from Kharpert. Uh, grew up in California and eventually, um, he b eventually went to school and became, got his, uh, got his degree from, got his BA degree from Berkeley and went, uh, went to UCLA. I will give a more, I will, uh, I will now go in a Dr. Hovhannisyan's proper uh, summarized bio and give my personal note at the end. Dr. Hovhannisyan is a past holder of the Armenian Educational Foundation, uh, Foundation Chair in Modern Armenian History at, at, like at UCLA and Presidential Fellow at Chapman University. Uh, he received his BA and MA degrees from, from, from UC Berkeley and PhD in, uh, in history at, like at UCLA. A member of the UCLA faculty since the 1960s, 1962 to be exact, he organized both the undergraduate and graduate programs in Armenian and Caucasian history. Selected as a prestigious Guggenheim Fellow, he has, he has published more than 30 books, including Armenia on the Road to Independence and the Republic of Armenia in his, in his four volumes, translated into Armenian, Russian, and Farsi. He has six volumes on the Armenian Genocide and 15 volumes on historic Armenian cities and provinces in the Ottoman Empire. I will mention two of them are here and his, most, and his latest, his latest like, volume was just recently published on Iran. Uh, like Richard Ovanissian was a member of the initial steering committee of the, Armen, I mean, of, of the Armenian Assembly of America, sixth time president of the Society of Armenian Studies, chairman of the board of the Armenian Monument Council in Montebello and associate the director of the UCLA Near Eastern Center at UCLA. Hovhannisyan has, recent, has received many honors for his scholarship, civic activities, and support of individual and collective human rights, including medals and encyclicals from His Holiness Karekin I, Karekin II, of the, of the Holy See of Echmiadzin, of Adam I of the, Holy, of the Great House of Giligia. And in 1990, prior to Armenia's independence, Dr. Hovhannisyan was elected to the Armenian National Academy of Sciences, becoming the first social scientist living abroad to be honored. He was subsequently awarded with the Moses Khoranazi Medal by the, by the Republic of Armenia and the Mestrov Mashtots Medal by the Republic of Nagorno-Karabakh Artsakh. Most recently, among a number of other awards, he received the title and medal Prince of Gidigia from His Holiness Adam I, the, Morgan, the Henry Morgenthau Medal from the, Gen from the Armenian Genocide Museum Institute in Yerevan, and commendations from the California State Legislature and City and the County of Los Angeles. Facing history in ourselves, his work with the USC Shoah Foundation, the Magrublian Center for Human Rights uh, of Claremont McKenna College, and the Armenian Assembly of America on its 50th anniversary. Richard's steady companion and research associate for many decades was late Dr. Vartiter Kocholozian Hovhannisyan, a much beloved physician in internal medicine with the Kaiser Permanente Medical Group and an untiring advocate of truth and justice. Uh, the couple's children are r like Rafi, who was the first foreign minister of independent Armenia and founder of the Armenian Bar Association, Ottoman, attorney and longtime legal activist in Armenian related affairs, Ani, a noted documentary filmmaker, and Garo, attorney and Ferahian, school board vice, vice chairman. Richard and Vartiter were blessed with 14 grandchildren and one great grandchild to this, to this day. I will mention on a personal note, I've uh, worked closely with Dr. Hovhannisyan for the past six to seven years, I would say maybe seven years. Um, I, I will, before going into my work or, or into our work together, I will say other than Dr. Hovhannisyan being one of the founders of Armenian studies and, and also as one of the twin peaks of Armenian genocide like research in, Amer like in North America, he was also not what we call an armchair historian by any means. He didn't, he didn't sit around and just write his books and just, you know, just to, like prophesize uh, from, from his chair. He was very active and local in, transnational Armenian, in the transnational Armenian dias community and diaspora, as many of these awards and, uh, and activities in, like, I mean, entail. His activism led him, if not forced him, to be a voice against an increasingly powerful Turkish denial of the Armenian genocide from the 1970s and on. We can speak at length and have mentioned some of his work that, he, that, like, that he's done. Uh, I will, coming to me, one, of the, one, one, one activity, one avenue that he took against this denial and part of his activism in his, act, in his academia was that he saw the foresight of this, new, of this new burgeoning field of oral history in the late 1960s, where after training and going to conferences and engaging with these young 
probably progressive, uh, new, some, you know, a whole new field was opening up. And Dr. Avanesian saw it, and he engaged with it. And by 1972, he already initiated a class at UCLA to train students and to have those students record stories of, his, of a disappearing generation of Armenian genocide survivors. While he focused on the West Coast, he worked and guided those on the East Coast to also capture those, like whatever they can on the East Coast. Seems like there was, a, there was a teamwork in the East and the West Coast in 1970s. And his project continued from 1970s and on to, 19, to 2010. He collected about 1,100 interviews, making it the largest Armenian genocide oral history archive in the world. There's no bigger, uh, maybe just a couple hundred like behind for number two. In, in, in 2018, he, lic he, he licensed his archive to the USC Shoah Foundation to integrate his collection for educational and research -like purposes. I've had the honor to work with him for the past seven years. First, he was a historical consultant uh, with the Armenian Film Foundation's archive, a documentary film, like a documentary film archive. And then afterwards, when he licensed his, his interviews, uh, I, became work I began working with him to get those interviews into our archive, which uh, as of this next September, as in about, about a month and a half, we will have finally 500 of your interviews in the archive. Uh, a significant update, uh, as we could say, and we still have about 700 to go. Uh, still, there's still work to go, but we're pretty, we're pretty much there. And I would like to see, I would say that this, this halfway point achievement, or close to halfway point achievement, also, in, um, I mean, in light of Dr. Vak and that Dadurian, is also a way to institutionalize Armenian genocide scholarship. And by your work from 1970s and on, is finally being institutionalized. And this is only one part of your work, but it's a significant part that's still living and still taking time to, to, have, to, to bear its fruits. And uh, the tree's only so big, but it'll get larger. And thank you, thank you, Dr. Ovanisian. And I'd like to invite you to the podium before we give you your award. and the previous speakers, Ms. Sagyan and Professor Akjam for the generous words. Um, I've never considered myself a genocide scholar. My field is the First Republic of Armenia. <clears throat> and I was driven into the field unpleasant field of genocide because of denial, state denial, that forced me to go into it. And interestingly, if I've given thousands of lectures in my career, probably 80% of them have dealt with the genocide and not with the Republic, and especially through the organization of facing history and ourselves, where I've been able to reach out to teachers from across the country who are not of Armenian background and who are in the classroom to teach. And that, that has been very rewarding for me. <clears throat> so much has been said about Vahak and Dadrian that I will not repeat it. He is a true genocide scholar. He truly did found and develop the field. As Dr. Apchan said, we're not always in agreement with each other. We have our differences in uh, interpretations of things, but there is no denying the question that he has been the giant in developing and advancing the field. Genocide studies, when I began my career, was not a welcome subject. It was one in which people became, for which they became uncomfortable, and they didn't want to hear about it. <laughs> Forget it. Let it go. Uh, enough. 
And uh, we had to find, fight, there are several of you here who participated in battles. Sarban Ali Oren, Kidagan, Baikar, Karib Ner, Mumank Garzen, or Hamas Ranakanera, they're in their ivory tower, Palmachenaner, Minister Chenki, they're Amen or Baikarer against the deniers such as Stanford Shaw and his supporters, and then against the efforts to squash the Armenian participation in Tel Aviv for the first international conference that would include the Armenian genocide, and on and on until the Turkish government tried to create a chair at UCLA with strings attached, giving three million dollars, and even the university secretly taking that money and not telling me, but there are strings attached the, that the holder of the chair had to be friends uh, with the Turkish government and with the Turkish uh, colleagues, uh, conditions that were unacceptable. So it's been, it's been a long struggle and I'm glad that we have achieved what we have achieved. It's true that I've published six books on the Armenian Genocide and true that they're being cited many places. But again, it's not by my choice. Let me just conclude. Um, I, as I was driving here, I was thinking of my connections with bullies. Chemke der Hayeranov, Semta Anklerenov. Arachian Kam, his son Hink Tavaganer, Hazarina Haru, his son Hink. Usanore, Ama Sarana Vardaze, Ye Voroshaze were higher and Betka Sorvim, Udev, watch higher and Kide, watch Kagartai, watch Kokere. Ye Voroshezi, Baron Simon Yavaraziani, Haraverov, Yerta Beirut. Meg Dareshurcham. Yevai Chanabarov Arache Ankam, Yevrobai Mechen Ansa, Rashknerein, I second, Hianale Vode, Darinero, Sumna Sere, Seraze, Vadmuchun, Bites, Yerpekche, Madazer, Bitty Deslem, I advise her. Yev Aransi Manalu, Bolisasa. I arrived in Istanbul on September. It was probably seven or eight, 1955. I had no idea what had occurred, but when I got off the plane and went into the city, I found a destroyed city with broken glass everywhere. And already the Armenian and Greek stores were being boarded up. Yavinchke Hishem, or I'd Chorsing Orva and Tatskin, when I had my grandmother's sister was a Mairabed, was a nun in Anarad Harutyun in Kedikoy. And I remember taking the ferry to visit her in Kedikoy and coming back and then befriending a young a Catholic boy by the name, last name of Injiji, Inchichi, who lived in Shishli and who, uh, with whom I traveled up and down the Bosphorus for four days. And, and then in 1959, for the first time, I took my parents to Istanbul. My father, Kaspar, um, had left Istanbul in 1920. So 40 years had passed. In those 40 years, he had never seen a Turk. America, in America, we didn't see Turks. And his whole family had been destroyed. He was the only survivor. Give Manasing Park Hotel, Gernak Hishel Park Hotel. 
uh, my f father on a tramway uh, almost went into shock. What the Turkma iran aspeshapets iran usera iraregan. Yeah, ir chagain utenen cherki dar inch pidenar yeah ha chort tore betke heratsne iran bolisen. But I've been back a number of times and sometimes better times uh, and finding out that there were good people, finding out also that all these Armenians are not all traitors as many in the diaspora Gagarzen were Tavajan, Turkasen, Turken, Haichen, the song for which I just I just share. Yev Minchev Yerevi Yergo Hazar Tavagana. Yev were in Istanbul in the year 2000. There was the 12th International Association of Genocides, uh, I'm sorry, of Oral History. And um, we decided because of an international association, that we would try to organize a panel on Armenian oral history and Armenian memory. You've got Donald, you have Lorna Miller, you have the John Schnock, you have Megurish Ankleatsima, Ankleayan, you have Yefari Matsav, Turkagan Garavarachuna, or Haigagan, Yeluit Pidilla, Iraransan. You have Porsetsi Junchel by trying to pressure, I need some water, I think, uh, that by trying to pressure the, the International Association. Thank you. To trying to pressure the International Association to cancel our pressure, our panel. And when the International Association refused, then the Turkish government took away all its support for the final uh, panels or for the uh, conference, including having sessions in the foreign ministry, having sessions in uh, the archives. Uh, and, uh, and so we ended up being simply and entirely at Boğaziçi University at Robert College, where our panel was so popular because they the denial that they had to find a much larger room like this for people to come who otherwise would not have come. And then at that same day when we had our panel, successful panel, we visited relatives on the upper Bosphorus where for the first time in the evening uh, here, uh, a guest came, uh, and his name was Harantink. And it was that time, related to that conference, that we first met this enthusiastic, bubbling, optimistic young man, big man, young man, who gave us his ideas, and I wasn't sure I agreed with all his ideas. Uh, because what Tanner Akcham one time said as well, sort of help us by not demanding too much. Just let's work on recognition and leave the other things. So in time I got to understand uh, that idea more. And I kept that connection with Haran Dink here in Los Angeles, and a final time, back in his office in August, shortly before he was murdered, and he felt that he was in great danger at the time. And I have this strong association of Bolis, Istanbul, and Harant Dink and the movement that he engendered and encouraged, and which still goes on 
even though they try to suppress it and repress it as much as they can. And then, I asked Sansinera Gosen, Gambak Vitsinera, Ashara Shureger. For me, Ashara Shureger, meaning the world turned upside on its head, when in 2005, with Dir Vartiter, we traveled to historic Armenia for the first time. I had been asked to go earlier with Armin Aroyan and others, but never went at that time. Because we traveled for the first time to our ancestral land with a Turk, with a Turkish scholar, Muge Gucic, from the University of Michigan. And isn't that ironic that uh, how did you allow our enemy to come, who is also the father of our other enemies, Rafi and Armin Hovhannisyan, who had been in Armenia, in historic Armenia and Ankara at the time of the Asala attacks. Anyway, it was interesting that we went to Eastern Armenia or historic Armenia with a Turkish scholar and where we met Baron Seropian from August, the Armenian editor, and traveled together for a time. Uh, and as I say, came back and the last time was to go back to the Haran Dink Foundation for a conference on Armenia, to be, which was held, I believe it was 2012, and at the same time to make an agreement with Araz Publishing for them to translate my volumes on historic Armenian cities and provinces into Turkish. Until now, they've translated and published Van Vaspuragan, Baresh Bitlis, Harpert, Sepastia, and I don't know where they're going to go from there. So it's been um, a good life. Uh, at the end of it, I feel it's coming to an end, but it's been worthwhile. I've been truly blessed. There's nothing more that I would want to have done than what I have done. A life of loving, teaching, being, trying to be objective and historic and at the same time to be something of a missionary, to teach, to inspire. And I think from the testimonies I receive from so many of my former students, it has not been in vain. Chapazan Shnagalim, Aisbad Vihamar, Hushan Veri Hamar, Vakan Dadriani, Hushira Goyi, Yev Ir, Asenk, Jaran Kutyan, Sharna Kutyan Hamar, Yevastayank Menk Verchina Chenk, Vorgan Urishner, Inchpes Clark Hamasaranen, Yevurish Teveren, Vorong Pidi Sharnagen, Zarkatsnen, Minche Vor Hastink, Chemkider Vor Hastink, Jamaragen Gasenk, Mergadarin, Husank. Huisag Karevore Yevavrink Huisov. Shuraga. Okay, Miss Dobby. I am Pidigadarvi Medali Shinoruma. Եվ գհրավիր եմ մեզարյալը ընդանիքը, բոլսա միության կործացիր հանստախումպի ադենաբետ դոքտոր Մարկ Քշկեր, բոլսա միության նախկին ադենաբետ բարոն Սիմոն Աջիլաջ, ուրիշ մեկը կա, ուրիշ մեկը, 
Doctor Ovanes Kulak Avedikian. Serge Akbari. Serge Akbari. Oh, Baron Serge Bulanakian. Korzati Ranstafum P. Secretary. Kardugar. Baron Serge. Mezarialin and Danica Rametsek Washing, Hello. Hello. It gives me a great pleasure to recognize Professor Richard Hoanesian for his monumental work in the Armenian history, Armenian genocide, especially the First Republic of Armenia. Professor Hoanesian is a champion of justice, Armenian justice. We honor Professor Hoanesian and we express our collective gratitude to him, wishing him a long and healthy life. Thank you.